Mellow. He trying to ask me why I mess with a four heights nigga. I'm trying to figure out how he, why he get a four heights female prey. Oh my god! So, uh, she wanna party with Rose. All she gotta do is get in with me. Uh, get in, 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 get in. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy MTT Rose. Here with my new podcast called Get In With Me. Uh, basically, all the episodes are gonna be. You know, in the car, or we gonna be in a car, or uh, to further notice. Uh, basically, you just you know, I'm gonna be pulling up on different people that's got something going, like a business or something for themselves. Uh, you gonna get in the car? We just gonna have a natural conversation. We gonna be just vibing, chilling. Uh, I probably ask you about five to ten questions. Some questions might be I'm gonna ask everybody. Some questions might be different depending on who the person is. Uh, like I say, it's just gonna be you just naturally vibing, we're just gonna be chilling in the car, just you know, kicking it. Uh, I'm trying to use my platform to help other people to expand their business or to expand whatever they got going on. Uh, you know, that's just what it is. So, like I say, we this the first episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we going up, you know, history in the making, legendary. You know, let's do it. Go. <laughs> what's up, gang? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's up, YouTube? We here with our first, my first video, first episode. I'm gonna jump right, to, right into it out the gate. We got MT Mello in the building. Make some noise. How you feeling? What's going on? How you feeling? I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. How you feeling? You good? Look at, yeah, I'm straight. You know, right. I'm vibing, chilling right All now. All right. Hey, y'all ready for this video? I don't think they're ready. Look at these glasses, though. No, listen. <laughs> I should have got me some glasses. Matter of fact, I do got some glasses. Let me see. Boy, now he's trying to be like me. I do got glasses, y'all. Uh oh. Now he's trying to be like Wipe me. Wipe them off real quick, though. Yeah. Chilling. My mama finna go to work. Yeah. She finna go to work. <laughs> let me know, should I take them off or keep them on? Let me see, let me see. Oh, I think I like them. Ooh, hold on. I don't know. With the goggles, it's doing too much. Man, shh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Look them on. He's like, know. what y'all doing? Huh? We doing a video? Huh? I think I look I think I look nice though y'all. You look like a pimp <laughs> named Slick Bay. Nah, you All right, I'ma keep them on just for a little bit just cause she got her glasses on. That's it. I'm not taking mine off, but come on, let's do it. We well, is. We we having a natural conversation. We vibing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, look. You say you feeling good today? Yeah, I'm finna go see my man. I miss him. He went home for the weekend, so but he mm -hmm. back. So, go to my For those who don't know, this is my blood little sister. She do get on my nerves a lot. Boy, so you get on my nerves. She get on my nerves a lot. But I, what I was gonna say though, um, if y'all can see me rolling my eyes, how you how your mental health is? Like how your mental health is? How you really feeling though? Like what's really going on with you? Uh, honestly, I ain't gonna lie. Um, look, life is life, and right now for the kid, but. Mm -hmm. I really, I don't know, like, life is life, and I can't really say I'm good right now, but I know I'm going to be straight, because, you know, that man upstairs, he going he gonna to make sure I'm good at all times, so. So, you got to keep God first. Yeah. So, I'm just, I'm I'm waiting for those, the better days to come, though. They on the way. They on the way, because. Yeah, I keep faith, you know, just pray to God. They if you're on going the way. through something like this, just keep faith, pray to God, you know, never give up. Never give up. Never, never, never give ever. up. Like, never, ever. Never, ever, ever. No. And make Ever. it always, always. Cause he didn't got me through some hard times for sure, and he gonna continue to get me through some hard times whenever they do and come. Always pray, no. always pray, y'all. Good pray. or bad, pray always up. pray. Good or bad, always pray. Don't just be praying when some go wrong. You gotta praise them when some going good too, or whatever good it's in facts. your life. Facts. So facts. always pray. You say you finna go. She she is in college. She finna graduate college. Uh, how that college life been for you? How that like how that experience is? 
college is i would say college is it's an experience for sure like mm -hmm. overall like i would say it's it's been okay it's not what i expected being that you know what you what you see on the movies or you feel me or you see in real life too like with the sororities and stuff like that like i will i was expecting all of that and plus some but the college I go to, it's more of a like, it's a private college and it's more, it's a PWI, it's, it's not an HBCU. Mm -hmm. And that too, like, I didn't know what I was getting myself into freshman year, being that I wasn't familiar for real with college because nobody in my family went to college. So it was like, I was on my own going into this journey for real because nobody around me experienced this yet for real, for real. Besides like my, my cousin Sam, but I really didn't go into detailing with, with her, for real, for real, like I should. But it's okay. Yeah. I feel like uh, the school I'm at, it's, it's really, they got like a lot of networking opportunities. And, um, it's also, I like that it's a small classroom base because the professor know me and and I know the professor, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it'll be easy for me to learn and understand stuff. So, I mean, so overall, it's, it's like a 50-50 with me, like, 50 50 like on like the college you, the uh, classroom base and then like the actual experience like it's 50 50. so she is finna graduate in a year she finna be the first and our family fathers i mean like i don't my mom kids or whatever she's gonna be the first to graduate college i was supposed to be the first but you know things happen it's life type shit. yeah so, y'all i cried when he said he wasn't going to college i'm like bro what are you talking about she like, definitely did she definitely like, did she made me what? cry and i don't even cry like you know me, what I you mean you're not going to college like you know me i do not cry because if you know him he got potential he know how to hoop he a people's person if you know my brother he he go automatically if he, if you know Tramiel, let me. If you know Rose, you know he gonna make you laugh. He gonna make you feel welcome. He gonna do all of that. So it's just so, like with college, it's like that's what college is. Like you just networking with a bunch of different people. It's like everybody that's in college, they they going up to be something. You get what I'm saying? So like in those long term, hopefully, it was hopefully. short short term. Majority, cause who finna go there and waste their time? A lot of people went to college. Like, uh, nah. I ain't gonna say they, they. I ain't gonna say they waste their time on purpose. It's just like probably some stuff came about in their yeah, life, but yeah. they got their degrees and all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, and they do nothing with them. So you know, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but like, sis, that's rare. Go to college, y'all. Handing from sis first, you know. If you do got the opportunity to go to college, at least go. experience it for a year, at least. Yeah, at least. Just to, like, you know, to get that feel. I mean, but college is not for everybody. It's not. So, and that's okay. Like, college ain't the only way out. College ain't the only way you can make some money. Don't don't believe that, for real. But it's a, one way you can. You feel me? It's multiple ways to make money out here like and get glasses. you a career. So. The glasses is glassing right now. He um, wanna be like me so bad. He put these glasses on because I got mad on. Now without the glass. Yeah, y'all go to college, man. You know, I feel like it, it'd be it'd be a good experience. From my experience, from going to visit a college, it was it was lit. I ain't gonna lie, it's like a different type of lifestyle. You know, you get away from where you where you live at or whatever. Where you came you from. Yeah, your environment. It's uh, different. So what? Uh, fathers with your uh with your dreads or your twisties or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Bro, what made you? Want, she already had them, but she took them down, y'all. So what made you want to get them back? Okay. Like, what made you want so to, like, let me tell you because they asked you? me. They asked me why I take. Why did I take my locks down? I took my locks down in the first place because mm -hmm. I had. I still had perm hair on my head, like in my hair. I still had like a little bit of perm hair at the ends. So when my locks was locking the perm hair wasn't locking and it was making my locks look really bad and it wasn't giving it the form that it should ha should have like being that i do locks i know so it's like i'm like okay i'm gonna just take my locks down cut out the rest of this perm hair and get them over again the reason why i have locks let's 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 start here the reason why i got my locks is because 
one i always wanted to have i always wanted to get locks i mm. always wanted to have locks off because the of me. no because not because of you because but of when me. he did get his i'm like okay this time i'm gonna look with mad so it's just like it was one of those she definitely just like me but that's it that's what we got but no what's what, what really it, it's it's like locks are so cute and like they really burst the town like you can as a female you can do anything you want with your locks like you can still get wigs you yeah, can still get could. braids definitely you can whatever. still do whatever like with your locks Color, like even now style. like it looks like i have braids in my hair and i don't like it you can do yeah, whatever with do your lot. locks and then it's like on top of that y'all charging 500 600 to get to, to a hairstyle who hmm. who not me, and I ain't, I ain't knocking y'all hairstyles. Make y'all money, but baby, y'all that's that I, tough, that's bro. too much. That's yeah, too much. That's a lot of money for the head. Baby, I never play rich. You hear me? I will forever play broke, and and forever think smart with my money. But if you do that, that's me. That's and that you too, do. like this is like this saves so much money. Like hair, like you think about it. How much, ladies? How many times y'all get y'all hair done in a month? If you a real high maintenance woman. How many times y'all get y'all hair done a month? And tell me, think Crazy. about it, and then calculate the total. Crazy. Oh, okay. Nah. Crazy. So that's why I have locks. Like it's it's just get you some dreads, so much. ladies. If you are gonna look right, it's gonna save you a lot of money in the future. It's gonna save you so me personally, much. Personally, I feel like because I I pay what and I pay for my hair. And that I can do my own hair too, like I feel like that's a lot. I don't know, but yeah. That's crazy paying all that money for some, for some hair though. And that's like going, said, that's not if you get your hair done you. a lot, that's a lot of money just for your hair. For your hair alone. And you know, in today's time, 2024, man, you know. I mean, if you got it, you got it. If you ball and do your thing. Do bro. your thing. I don't know, because if I am balling, I still, you know, I'm a little tight on. <laughs> yeah, I like to save. Money. I ain't gonna lie. I like the, you know, yeah, I gotta save. I gotta think smart with mine. Well, you, um, Realistically, where you see yourself in five years? Five years, I see myself at the state, hopefully owning my own house. Mm -hmm. uh, five years, I'm gonna be married, um, having kids. Uh, How many kids you want to though? Like, I want, I want two, but four is the max. I ain't gonna hold that's too you. Too many. I four is. <laughs> I got Just because your ass got two already. I got two, that's it. I got a boy and a girl, that's it. It's no, I would say I want two, but four is the max. Like, a lot of people thought I was, uh, I was for real when I said I wanted 10. I don't want no 10 kids. Mm -hmm. 10 kids coming out of this, baby, body will be over with through. But no. <laughs> tripping, G. <laughs> we finna change the subject. She tripping. No. <laughs> but no. Uh, kids is blessings though. I but just kids feel like are blessings. Like kids, will you gotta be mentally. You, better. you gotta be mentally and like really. What the worst if you ain't ready? You gotta be ready for that. And like when I say ready, <clears throat> I ain't talking about like ready to dress them up, put them in clothes, all of the nice no, clothes. And shit. Like, it's like actually ready because it get real in the field. And if you think you ready for that, meaning schooling, sickness, uh, yeah, nurturing, sacrificing, sacrificing, like, compromising, all of that, like. You really gotta be. You gotta be mentally ready. Yeah, I'm ready. talking like I got kids, but I I feel like I do got kids. She, his kids, my kids. I don't care. I know she's been saying that. She. Yeah, she do be with my kids, like y'all. So, so like, that's if I thing. can, if you, got, I, if you have kids, you gotta get you. Make sure you got some babysitters you gotta on have that. A real, not, make sure that, not no babysitter. Make sure the, we don't want make sure the granny, the nah, grannies, we don't want babysitters. the granddaddies. We want, we want a real support system. That. That's what. No babysitters, cause babysitting, you know, you don't really, you just I'm watching the kids. Yeah, you just watching, no. you just doing something. Just we do want something. support, a uh, support system. Being that, you know, mm -hmm. you gotta actually care for the child, be there for the child. So, yeah, we want a, you want a good support system. That's all that you can get through anything. You got a good support system with some kids, for real. Yeah. Oh so yeah, you, and I, I, I should be in my career too. That, I ain't say that, but yeah, go ahead. So you um, you engaged right now? So yes, y'all ain't got my ring on. My man gonna she get don't me. Got her ring on right now. My man gonna She's, get my little me. sister is engaged right now. So, had like, 
how that make you feel just like being engaged and then knowing you finna be married in the next couple of years i that's it's so exciting y'all like that is just i don't know it's like it's just like it don't feel real like was you know like a goal? lot of female this yes goal, like, like i always wanted marriage i always wanted to be well for my kids to grow up in a two-parent household you know a healthy household like like loving like showing affection you know all of that like i want my kids to be in that environment and everything else so yes she this is also. this is the goal and being that That's i believe up. in god is just like this just like the this is just i don't know like it's just it feels so good though it feels good to be engaged it feels good that i'm leaning towards the goal to to get married you know what i'm saying like it, it feels good i ain't gonna lie it do. It feel Hopefully really one good. day I get married to y'all. And know. being that's like you with, like, being that this generation, like, a lot of y'all don't even believe in marriage. A lot of people don't even believe in relationships. You get None what I'm that. saying? Because a lot of people was hurt young or traumatized young or whatever the case may be. But it's yeah. so beautiful. I ain't gonna lie, you get the right partner, you get the right person. It's beautiful. It's really, it's really yeah, a beautiful thing. You gotta thing. have that right, the right person with the right mindset and uh, like on a, Chimel, on how the you, same type of time. How you know you got the right person? How you know if you got the right person? Yeah. Me, honestly, I say you will know from the, like, it don't take, like a lot of people be thinking say it take five months and all this other, just, just like, it don't take that long to know if a person for you or if y'all can make it somewhere in life mm -hmm. is it like she's like my little sister said if y'all come outside with me or whatever i'm y'all around me y'all are gonna naturally just vibe with me it's naturally it's gonna be mm -hmm. off the strength naturally even if you don't even know me mm -hmm. soon as you see me it's like oh, okay this, this nigga cool as hell so the same thing with a with your partner a man or a woman it's like you know how you see a girl you like and you like damn i like her you go talking to her then you like oh she different it's like you know what you know if you know so it's just like, you know, shit, that's, and the loyalty, if y'all is talking or y'all get to that point, the loyalty she's showing, the way y'all, she treats you, respects you, and just day in and day out, like, yeah. that's how you know, if, like, it's, it's just for you, and don't, none last forever, but it could be forever. If so, you're willing to make it It could be it forever, work. none last forever, but it can be 30 years, 40 years, whatever, you, 50. whatever you put into the situation, or how, how much energy you put into that situation. Yes. Cause it's, I would say for me, like, it didn't take long for me to notice, like, okay, I really mess with him. Like my, my fiance, it didn't take, it didn't take, first of all, let me tell y'all this. Yeah. Now. Cause like, I think it was like her first day at college. She we, said, I love this nigga. I'm like, what? <laughs> Who is he? She like, he from like down South. You feel me? He got shirt and vibes. You feel me? So I'm like, hold on. We just your first day at college. Let me meet him. No, like, you feel me? She I like, brother, lie. like, yeah, this, da, da, da. Like he came off different. Like he just a real like. A nah, I fuck with Dusky though. I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with Dusky for real. He is kind of different. He an Aquarius like me too. So he, he all of that like. You he, already know he one he of them niggas. Of that, and he gonna do whatever to make me happy. Like yeah. whatever. Because if he don't, like, she gonna beat him up. So. <laughs> <laughs> might flatten his tires, might bust his windows out or something. I don't, I don't touch no, I don't on. touch people cars. Yeah. I don't touch nobody property. Let me just start off that. Yeah. I don't do none of that. That ain't me. That's too toxic. I don't yeah. do the toxicity. I don't do that. But no, it's just I feel like because we we me and my me and my uh man we started we I always locked in after like a week a week we were locked in. I'm like how long has yeah, been that? How long y'all been together? Uh, it's right. been. Three years? Three or about years. to make three years? Yeah. So, yeah. so we've been locked in ever since, though. Like, I just, I'm in love. What can I say? She definitely is in love, though. I'm, I'm in love. love. That's my man, which I be saying. My man, my man, my man. That's my man. Yeah, y'all, y'all, you know, like I say, man, we're going to be vibe. We're going to be kicking. This is the first ever. So, I'm excited for this. And I hope y'all is too. Y'all, it's gonna get bigger and bigger. Like this, this just the beginning right now. But it's yeah. gonna get bigger. So says she had to be on the first episode. So yeah, you know, it's gonna get. Sometimes bigger. she bullied me around too. So you know, she tried to tell me what to do and shit too. And I'm the big brother, so she like, nah, nigga, we gonna do this. We gonna do it like this. Because nigga. and we and look, still listen, not even doing look, it my way. Look, we gonna do it like this, and we gonna do this, we gonna do that. And because like, you gotta trust me with this. Like so, like what you, what you like, how far you think this is gonna go for me? 
and your honest opinion and what's going on in today's world. Like, how far you think my podcast will go if I stay consistent and stay on top of it? I think it's going to blow. I ain't going to lie. Like, being that you already into the YouTube field and you know what to expect and you know what to do. Like, and plus, on top of that, you edit your own videos. You make your own thumbnails. You know, like, whatever it takes to, you know, create a YouTube video, mm -hmm. you already got that potential being that you already doing it. You know what I'm saying? For Chase. So it's like, I think it's going to go crazy. And then off the strength of how many people message you, like I said, you a people's person. So they are willing to, you know, get in, get in, get in, get in with Rose. So it's like, go. you know, it's like, so I'm like, I feel like this going to go crazy. I feel like you're going to have a lot of haters because you already do. But uh, it's just what come with it. It's game, what yeah. come with it. It's just what come with it. But yeah, like I feel go like go subscribe to Chase the Kid YouTube. Yes, Tommy, go see. subscribe to go Chase subscribe. the Kid. YouTube. My son blowing up. He is. Know. I'm trying to get on his level for real, for real. He I'm, is. I'm rich. I edit all my videos. I put all the work in for my son too. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, right. So it's like you doing it for yourself is just gonna it's gonna be easy. It's all about consistency. Like a lot of people, even with my Instagram, a lot of people. Let me tell y'all that. Melo, she don't bad nothing. She ain't she ain't bad shit. I'm not bad no follow. I'm not bad. No I was likes. Instagram. I'm still kind of Instagram fan, but I was that. famous like my freshman year. I had, like, I'm not buying none of that, and a know. lot of people think that. I didn't. I didn't do none of that. I ain't gonna What's lie your, to you. Tell me your Instagram. Um, it's dot mellow. I T S S. Right there. Uh, dot M E L O O. I think I'm missing an S, but it's, I'm gonna put it right there though. Yeah, but yeah, I uh, and I follow back y'all. Just because I got a lot of followers, I only, I ain't, I'm still me. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people think I'm. I changed all of that. No, I didn't. I'm still the same me. But I was consistent with posting. Like, if you look at my reels, I got 3.4 million uh, views. Uh, shit definitely and up. all type of million views on a lot of different videos. You get what I'm saying? But I was consistent with posting every day because Instagram was paying me at the time. So I was like, okay, since I'm a college student, I'm going to be consistent with posting so I can make some extra money. And that's how that went. And I, my Instagram and blew up after that. And whatever you're doing in your, your life or something. And that too, consistent. I don't gatekeep. I put a lot consistent. of people on with that. Uh, that Instagram was paying. You feel me? I don't gatekeep or none of that. I put everybody on that's around that definitely me. made me a few because dollars. <laughs> because that's not me. The type of heart I got, I, that ain't me. So I definitely put a lot of people on with uh when Instagram was paying everybody, but they stopped now because they everybody caught on. But I put a lot of people on with that. So, but that's how I got my my following up. I was consistent with posting every day. I did not miss a day. I used to post every day, but I stopped because they stopped paying me. Tune in. We just gave you a lot of free game. Relationships, college, social media, especially social media. Like, just even like, if just you got a business, a if you got a business, like you have to post your business every day. Like, no matter if you don't or do get a like, post your business every day because because I know for it's gonna pop up on somebody's timeline. From experience, if they don't like it or comment or anything, it's gonna they pop see up. It. They see it. I'm telling you, social oh, media that everybody sees it, but they just don't react to your they stuff. They don't react. And to I know it. firsthand because I make music. As y'all know, I make music and I got my own clothing line, so I know. So it was times I was thinking a person wasn't clicking on it, or I'm like two likes, damn, this ain't finna sell. Uh, I'm second guessing myself the whole time behind closed doors. I got a lot of people calling me, DMing me. I need this. I want that. Da -da -da. You ain't drop no music. Where your music at? This and that. So it's like. Yeah. I shout shout out to all my supporters. And then you be like, dang, they seen that. Like fuck with y'all. Yeah. It's it's gonna be all of that. But if you got a business Anything you doing though, it's gonna be tough. Anything with marketing, like you gotta promote stay consistent. yourself. Stay consistent. Promote yourself. And if you don't know how to use social media, have somebody help you use uh your social media or whatever it is you trying to do. Yeah, and that too, like start editing your own stuff, start making your own flyers. And stuff like that Like y'all gotta get into this Tap Like this the yourself. new world Like for yeah. real for real Cause a, a lot of people Will help you But a lot of people won't Yeah so. a lot of people Cause a lot of people Be gatekeeping But me If y'all got any questions For me Or whatever the case may be When it comes to social media Or how to do this How to do that Feel free to DM me bro DM I don't gatekeep Tap keep. in Tap I in don't. Tap in Y'all can like DM me too if y'all want something. It's enough. It's enough money in this world for, for everybody. everybody. For everybody. Like I say, I'm using my platform now to help people. If you got a biz or if you got something you really want to talk about on the camera, or you want to get it out there to the world. Boom. Get in with Rose the podcast. I'm trying to help people out. Help myself to help you. Help us. 
So, you know. What made you want to date a four high school? Like, what, like, I wouldn't talk about that, but I answered it. Okay. <laughs> I talk about, okay. No, nah, I feel like during the time being like, when, when I was like 15, 16, mm -hmm. I mean, the vibes is right. The vibes is done. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. and plus, the person who I was messing with, he a real gentleman. Like, a lot of people don't know that. I'm but. from Hawaii too, though, if y'all don't know. So, like, I'm from Hawaii, <laughs> Chicago Heights, Big Hill. So, it's nothing personal to nobody out there. No, you I love me? my Fuhrheist family. But, I really yeah, do. I got Fuhrheist family, I too. I mess with my Fuhrheist family. Like, I, and you, if you know, you know. But, like, the person who I was dealing personal. with, like, he, he real respectful and a gentleman. Like, a lot of people don't know that. But, I know that. You feel me? I, Shouts I out that to that young man. I seen that side of him. So Shout out to that young man. I, I, I really, you know, was was, me was messing with the vibe, vibes of that and everything else. But I ain't going to go into detail. Right. Man. So we know. It's yeah, cool, that's, you know, that's just that on that. Because, you know, I'm married now. So, right. <laughs> so what made you get a full hikes female pregnant? Not once, but twice. <laughs> hey, I ain't got no comment. No, you got a comment. Know. You got, got a no comment. comment. Man, she was innocent as hell in the beginning. Of shit. <laughs> Sweet as fuck. No, nah, she was. Sweet, you know, innocent, basketball player, all type of shit. You know, she was just, you know, da, 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 da. Right. she was different. Mm -hmm. That shit, like, shit, you know, time went by, kids came by. Mm -hmm. Shit, I don't know. Shit, she like a whole nother person. Y'all know how it is when you have a baby by somebody. It just be like, a go down, just go down here. That's just how it go. I don't okay. know. No, that's the first episode. Uh, get in with Rose, the podcast. Uh, appreciate MT Mello for coming through, blessing the first episode. You already know. This little bitch, she lit. This little bitch, she lit. This little bitch, she lit. Go.